Welcome back, this is the Amateur Active. We've got Gunslinger Farmhouse Suicidal. I had a topic to talk about. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I used to play Maple Story back in. Uh, actually, for a very, very long time, I played Maple Story. Uh, I played it. I started in 2000. I want to say 2004, 2005. It was. Uh, if you care to know exactly when I started, I was I was like pretty close to like immediately after uh, Kaini was uh, introduced, which is no longer a server, and that's you know a big part of why I don't play. I was I was uh, I was a big part of the the Kaini. Well, I wasn't a big part of it, but I was a fan of it. Uh, back back in the day, I wasn't uh, I wasn't a particularly noteworthy uh, person in the Maple Story world. Well, I don't know. I was kind of noteworthy, but not not super noteworthy. It was I wasn't a big part. I was a part. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it that way. Anyway, um, I uh, I stopped playing around. I didn't I didn't quit because of the big bang. So if you guys don't know, Maple Story went through a couple of like pretty enormous sort of rehauls of um, how the game worked on like a pretty basic level. Uh, so back in the day, you had uh, a big focus on party quests early on. So that was like the way that you would level up was you would do quests together, like repeatable quests together, and like uh, it was called party quests, but they were kind of like dungeon raids kind of thing. Um, and you kind of do those together to get uh, XP, and it was pretty quick. It was pretty good. Um, then uh, towards the uh, like about level 100, all of the content basically stopped. So from 100 to 200. Uh, you had no additional content really to, to speak of, um, just just because the game was is, was quite new at that point. Uh, the the final boss was uh, Zakum, which was uh, that was that was like the big bad enemy boss. You know, people got together and had these huge like 50 people parties to go fight it to get like a, a helmet. And it only dropped like one helmet at a time, so it was it was quite the the effort to to actually um, accomplish anything there. Um, and then they had the first, which was uh, I think the was the first major rehaul, the Big Bang. It might have been Red. I can't remember. I can't remember what Red was even. Um, but anyway, they added. Uh, yeah, they they ended up rehauling a lot of how the stuff works. They rehauled a lot of. Um, like skills, added a bunch of new classes and stuff, um, and then they had kind of like a, a general rework of the XP curve in the game. So all of a sudden, getting to level 70 wasn't an achievement anymore, it was kind of like expected, you know? Um, everybody was getting to level 70 and getting their third job, they added the fourth job in as well, um, and uh, Ended up uh, causing a lot of drama. The, the Big Bang was was kind of. I don't know. A lot of people say that it's the worst update to Maple Story. I personally liked that update. It made it a lot more accessible, which was good. Um, introduced a lot of new content. The uh, the higher levels weren't used anyway, so kind of like tweaking that XP curve to make it easier to get to the mid levels, kind of like the hundreds ish, was uh, was in my opinion like super necessary. Um, and then adding more content into the to the high end as well um, was was uh, was super 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 necessary, and uh, that was kind of the uh, the pivotal moment, the pivotal moment in in Maple Story's history. If you guys haven't uh, noticed, most games these days have a point at which people say, "Oh no, that's the moment when when the game died," you know. There's, there's, there's typically an update that just didn't sit well with the uh, the core audience of the game at the time, or at least the um, the original audience, not necessarily the core audience, but the uh, the original audience. Like World of Warcraft, they have you know classic. RuneScape has uh, RuneScape has um, old school RuneScape because you know people didn't like EOC, and you know, every every game ends up having a, a moment to patch an update where uh, people aren't super happy with it. And for Maple Story. That's definitely the Big Bang. I personally like the Big Bang. I'm also a fan of, you know, evolution of combat in RuneScape. 
I don't play World of Warcraft and I couldn't name any other games with uh, with this specific thing. Anyway, for, for me, that wasn't really a, a point of contention, but it ended up, for, for me, what ended up killing MapleStory was when they introduced potentials on gear. So now you had to buy cubes, like, um, you get to buy cubes, which would re-roll the potential on um, your uh, your gear, and those cubes cost real money. And the potentials are like the biggest part of Maple Story, even to this day. Like that's that's where you get all of your damage, all of your stats, all of your you know like that's that's where you get everything. That's that's those are the things that matter, right? Um, the the other stuff is like whatever for the most part. Um, and, uh, it was, it was, it was just, it was like, that was the part where I was kind of like, all right, well, you just, you can't, it's no longer pay to win. It's, it's whales only, <laughs> you know, like, like Maple Story before that was pay to win. You could buy, uh, XP coupons and drop coupons. You could buy gachapon tickets. You could buy, you know, all this kind of stuff and, and, and. And end up getting a lot of gold, getting a lot of stuff, and, and getting stronger. And you could buy your way to victory for sure. Um, but at that point, once they introduced like the whole cubing thing, um, for me it was just kind of like, yeah, you can't, you 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 you, you, you can't. <laughs> you, you have to spend tons and tons and tons of money in order to get the your gear to a point where it's competitive with with. Even like you know normal people, and you can end up like saving up your mesos and getting something uh, half decent. Uh, Amites on uh, Amyte uh, on YouTube has a, uh, a series where he's doing exactly that, and he's he's one of the definitely more powerful Maple Story players. He's he's definitely got a very strong character, very well geared out, very good stuff, and he hasn't spent a dollar of his own money on the game. Um, but even he has used trades that uh, Suits and boots, guys. even he has used trades that were in USD. You know, like it's it's just that's that's the it, Maple, Maple Story and that 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 was the pivotal point for me was when they started introducing all these cubes and all that, and um, which I think might have been in the Big Bang. I'm not sure. I think it was in red or something. Um, regardless, though. That was the point, because it went from being pay to win to you just, you cannot play it. Realistically, you're not going to be able to do anything in the game unless you're buying it. And you have to spend an absurd amount of money. It's not a subscription, it's just pay to get your gear to a point where it's usable. You know? And uh, that was the part that kind of uh, ruined it for me. But they introduced reboots. They introduced reboots, which was um, no pay to win at all. So you, you you play the well a little bit of pay to win, but not not much. It was it was a very reasonable amount of pay to win. You couldn't buy cubes, you couldn't buy um, that kind of stuff. You could buy cosmetics, um, and I think uh, a couple things like you could buy pets uh, and stuff like that. A couple of things which were useful. Uh, you could get you know your MVP status up, which gives you additional maple points and mesos and like equips and stuff like that. But it's not like Whatever. It, it, it was. It wasn't. None of none of the stuff really mattered that much, really. Um, people who were, you know, whales and, and you know constantly MVP diamond or whatever were definitely progressing faster. Um, but like, it was. It wasn't necessary. You, you, it, like at all. It was. It was a reasonable. It was a very reasonable amount of uh, of pay to win, in my opinion, for just a game in general. It was. A, it was a good way to handle it. I ended up spending a lot of money. On the cosmetics and stuff, because I highly, highly supported the the whole reboot model, and, and when I do support a, a game or, or anything like that, I'm happy to spend money on uh, cosmetics or you know cash items or whatever, as long as I actually support what uh, what they're doing, and uh, I definitely did. So I was I was never MVP. Well, I think I might have been MVP Diamond once. No, I don't think I was. I don't. I don't think I was. I don't think I was MVP Diamond ever. Um, but I was, I was definitely uh, like MVP Silver, and I think it was MVP Gold once as well. Um, 
which is like six hundred dollars spent in three months or something. Um, and then silver is three hundred dollars spent in three months, which I was I was MVP silver quite often. Hundred bucks a month isn't isn't that bad in my opinion, especially back when uh. I had a job and I was living at home and I didn't have any plans to really move out yet. Like I still had money saved away and all that kind of stuff. Like it was, it was a very reasonable amount of money that I was spending with uh, with my income on uh, cosmetics and stuff. I just I didn't always there was there wasn't always stuff I wanted to buy, so I didn't have MVP silver all the time. But anyway, so that was all great. Reboot was fantastic. It really rebooted my love for Maple Story and made it really really good and fun and uh, and great and awesome and you know a, a bunch of other positive uh, things right like it was it was a good time right so um, you are here to clean but and here come your the thing with reboots eyes. is you have to grind out mezzos <laughs> and uh, Who is this mysterious you have to you have to like really grind it out so rather than spending real money you have to uh, it's kind of like Iron Man mode in RuneScape, if you ever looked at that, or, you know, it's kind of like single player to a certain extent. You can still party up for stuff. Um, you know, some bosses are only doable. Um, I think you can do party quests. Like, you can do everything. You just can't trade with people, really. And uh, you can't even transfer your equipment that you get on one character over to another character. So you can't go, like, farm up equipment. You can't even farm up equipment on one character and transfer it over. You can transfer over... Other things, non-equipment, like mesos, items, and stuff, but you can't transfer equipment. And it has, like, different equipment drop rates and, and all that kind of stuff. Since you can't trade, it wanted to make it a little bit easier for you to find your stuff. Still a grind, but, um, not as stupid, you know? Not as stupid. You only got, like, equipment for your class. You wouldn't, uh, if you're playing a rogue, you're not going to get warrior equipped, you know? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, so you had to farm your mesos, the, the currency in the game. You had to farm that up to get uh, all of your cubes and 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 uh, and stuff. And uh, instead of playing, instead of paying real money, you had to farm up your 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 mesos, buy cubes with the meso, and then run from there. And that was fine and dandy. At a certain point, I got bored of it because it was a lot of just like grind out the mesos, get the gear, kill the next boss, repeat the process until you're done. You know, it was it ended up just kind of getting boring after a few months, and uh, so I ended up leaving. Uh, and um, I was I was a. Uh, I was an admin. I wasn't a leader, but I was an you know admin staff person of uh, of a guild in reboots. We ended up shutting the guild down because a lot of members were leaving and quitting. Um, we were pause. If you guys uh, know pause from Maple Story reboot, you probably don't. We weren't like a really big guild or anything like that. I think we were reasonably significant, but we weren't. Uh, you know, we weren't we weren't we weren't really a thing. Um, not 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 a very important thing. I, I do believe we were we we had some degree of significance, like some high level players doing high level content and stuff like that. Um, but we weren't. You know, you may you may know us, you may not. We were pause. Um, anyway, anyway, I had. Uh, I had um, quit. A lot of the other people had quit, and they moved on to other guilds. We kind of like we didn't disband the guild. We kept the guild going just so that we could come back if we ever wanted to. Uh, one of the other people wanted to. The uh, the leader wanted to continue playing, so they uh, they moved the guild leadership to me, and then I quit and didn't log on anymore. So I still like am in the Discord or whatever. I was like, if uh, you know, if we want to come back, just let me know. I'll log into Maple Story and transfer the leadership to whoever needs it, and uh, that way we can kind of keep the guild in a uh, in a trustworthy position. So it's not uh, lost or anything like that. We don't lose all of our all of our players and stuff. Um, 
But anyway, they uh, they ended up even killing that. So I was planning on going back at some point. I was planning on going back at some point. When I when I quit, I uh, I was actually like talking about leaving, and they're like, "Hey, why are you still playing?" And I'm like, "Oh, well, you know, there's a." Uh, there was like an event going on, you get a bunch of XP for, for leveling up, it was like terror burning, the first terror burning I believe, in uh, Maple Story. Like, I thought you were quitting. I'm like, yeah, but like, when I come back I'm gonna regret not having uh, terror burned my Kana up. Uh, so that I have a, a Kana to play with, you know? Because, uh, very, very useful when you're when you're grinding in the, uh, in the end game trying to level up and stuff and I was like yeah I'll, I'll come back someday and uh, I'd like to have my Kana ready to go when I when I do um, but uh, even that they ended up ruining even my my precious reboot they ended up ruining um, so they've killed off like Kana's so you, you used to be able to use a Kana Kana is one of the classes in Maple Story by the way Back in the day, uh, you were able to boost spawn rates in a map with uh, with Akana. Nowadays, I believe you still can, but it's to a significantly worse degree. And uh, the method of um, farming mesos, which was uh, telefarming, where you would just randomly teleport and attack, randomly teleport, attack, randomly teleport, attack, and just keep doing that over and over again with a, um, with a, uh, with a pet looting everything. So you don't have to pay attention, you just randomly attack and teleport, and you get, you know, a decent amount. It's very highly low effort. It's not the best money maker in the game, but it's, like, stupidly low effort. Um, so you're able to do that just fine. Um... They ended up uh, breaking that, so that's gone now, so you have to actively play the game, and I'm like, I just, for me, the thought of spending, like, a couple hundred hours running around the same map to farm mesos, to be able to get enough gear, to do the same thing on a different character, it's just, it's, like, beyond not interesting. So unless there are some enormous changes to the way that uh, Reboot, or even MapleStory in general, I guess, uh, works, I'm definitely not going back. And uh, every now and then, I'm, I'm still in the Discord. This disc the Discord for the server is still live. It's not active, but uh, still live. And uh, every now and then people are like, I miss you guys. We should get back together. And it's, it's a lot of, nah. <laughs> People uh, really didn't like that that update. You know, if you already progressed, if you already had a Kana mule in the end game, you know, you already had a character that was capable of farming in the end game. If you already had all of that, it really wasn't that much of a hit. But if you don't, like I don't, it's just like getting to that point is just not fun. It's just too much grinding. Now, if you like the grinding, then, like, by all means, be my guest. But, uh, for me, it's just not fun grind, you know? And, I play, I'm, 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 and I'm a RuneScape player, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm a player of RuneScape. Talking about how I don't want to grind in MapleStory. That's, that's saying something, you know? Saying something about how, uh, how grindy it is. Dinner is ready, apparently. That's cool. I have no idea what dinner is. I'm not probably not gonna eat it. It's probably not good. They rarely make food that I think tastes good. I'm not calling them bad chefs. I just don't particularly like the. You know, we have, we have different tastes. Uh, anyway, that was uh, that was my Maple Story ramble, I guess. Maple Story would be the game that I would go back to if. Uh, they made like a, a Maple Story classic, you know. Like if they made a Maple Story classic, like you know, you, you got you got all these people who are playing old school RuneScape or whatever, and you got people playing World of Warcraft classic, and you ask them like, "Hey, why are you playing?" They're like, I don't know. I just uh, I just do. I can't stop. 
That would be that would be my game. Would be would be Maple Story Classic. For sure. No doubt of that. But uh, I don't I don't think that would ever happen. Um, their current model is clearly working just fine for uh, maximum income. <laughs> Which is uh, all that really matters when you're running a game like that, right? It's it's a game made up almost exclusively of whales at this point, which is uh, sad, I guess. Because uh, growing up, it was it was it was a big part of my life, Maple Story, like a really big part of my life, and uh, I'm feeling generous. now it's like just dead to me. It's just dead to me. Which is, uh, super sad. Could be great if it wasn't, you know? I, mean, I have so many memories of, uh, of playing MapleStory as a, as a child, as a young, uh, as a young girl, just playing, exploring, uh, Pig Beach, and, you know, when the Pirate was, uh, released, that was exciting, and so much, so many, so many memories of, of everything that happened. I remember waiting outside the, the space for the Pirate to be released. I remember, uh, Cygnus Knights being released, and... Oh, so many good memories. So many good memories. But, can't go back to it anymore. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more of the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.